Well, hi there, friends. I think it's time for you to go on my garden tour. Let's go. So welcome to my garden. So I wanted to show you the different beds. I've got three different styles of growing in this garden. Um, probably back, gosh, probably back in 2009 on our other property where the cattle are, we had this first garden bed. It's a four by eight. Um, you can tell it's a little worn. It's back from 2009 is when uh, Johnny built that for me and we moved it back, we moved it up here um, just a few years ago when I wanted to get back into gardening. Um, and then um, last year, or actually he brought it up last year, and then we added um, our second four by eight uh, grow bed. And then this year, since I'm home and want to expand on the garden, we added one, two, three, four, four by eight um, grow beds. And then um, just kind of looking at what was going on, we did add a tomato box, which Johnny has a video uh, we worked on together. We also added the two trellises. Um, the trellises are inspired by several um, gardening shows that I watch. Um, de most definitely uh, Jessie from uh, Roots and Refuge. Um, and if you haven't seen her channel, go check it out. So I'm just gonna go through all the different boxes and what I have in them. Uh, Again, I'm a newbie at gardening. I've read a lot of books, done a lot of research. I think um, there's a lot of great information, but also you, you, everybody lives in a different area. You know, you have different uh, growing zones. We're in, I believe it's 7A for our growing zone. Um, saying it's hot, you know, we're in Northeast Oklahoma. Uh, this first growing bed, I've have some uh, bell peppers and I never can pronounce these beautiful flowers, but I think they're <laughs> pronounced nasturtiums and I'm sure somebody's gonna need to correct me on that. And then over on the other side with the trellis, I've got my cucumbers. These are mercury. 
They were having a little bit of trouble coming up, and I think it's just because we had a little bit cooler than normal um, season. There is some a little bit of this on here, but, but if you notice, I do have, and I think it, like it popped up last night. It wasn't there last night, and I think there's one more around here somewhere too. Maybe it's just the one. There was one I saw growing right there. There it is. And I've been working with these to try to teach them how to climb the trellis. Um, just a little bit of patience. I did um, reseed a few of the cucumber plants um, so we can continue the harvest. And then these, um, I know they have benefits to the garden course, bring in pollinators, um, but are they not beautiful? I just, I don't know. You gotta have some pretty in your garden. Then on this bed, on the other side of the trellis, I have cucumbers. These are nationally pickle cucumbers. Um, and then on the other side, um, we'll go over there in a minute, I have the um, Boston uh, pickling uh, cucumbers. I love dill cucumbers or dill pickles. And I know Johnny, he really likes the sweet, but I'll probably do more dill than sweet. But there are a few um, recipes I found out there most recently from a uh, collaboration for sweet pickles. So we'll try that, give that a try at canning. Um, oh, look, they're not one like they pop up overnight. It's crazy. Those are about perfect for harvesting. I don't want the pickles to be too big um, because again, I'll be canning those. And then we, so I have some marigolds that I planted from seed. Um, they add benefits to your garden besides pollination, but they're also, uh, I understand, good for your cucumbers. On this side of my this trellis, I have uh, the Boston uh, pickles or Boston pickling pickles that I was talking about, and those are both seeds that are from Haas Tools. This first year, I used Haas Tools, and I really like theirs. Um, I also planted recently some summer squash. Um, I'm going to show you the other end uh, where I did uh, right into uh, direct seed into our ground. Um, on the back part of the garden. Uh, they're not doing so good, squash bugs got all over them. So I, I think my lesson learned from this year is that I am going to, um, on our summer squash, I will just plant those um, probably late August going forward. Um, maybe about the same time I do some summer squash and put in my fall garden. All right, and if you notice here, we've got quite a few pickles, <laughs> little, little cucumbers coming up. There's some light to let to little babies. And I probably need to do a little bit more um, thinning of the leaves so get a little bit better airflow. But right now, um, the trellis really helps with that airflow and I really appreciate it. And look at that pretty little guy. I love that. That's what it's about, guys, getting those pollinators in. Now, this is what I'm really excited about. And I already did some harvesting and I'm gonna show you that bounty. This is the first time I've grown a pole um, green bean. These are, I believe, the Kentucky pole green beans, and it has done great. Um, I love the way it looks with the trellis, and it's not, I don't believe it's gonna have any trouble with the cucumbers, but I also planted some bush green beans. Um, last year was my first year to grow green beans, and I did bush. I had a little bit of trouble with them just because um, it was so hot when I did finally plant them. Um, you know, if you get over, I think it's like probably, uh, you know, definitely 85, 90 degrees that they start struggling and then they pretty well shut down if you get closer to 100. But for right now, they're doing great. Um, I do think having mulch helps all our plants. This is my beautiful, I always wanted one butterfly bush and I... I'm, I have no luck with it. I am not, maybe I need to put it directly into the ground. So tell me what I'm doing wrong here, guys. And then being a Southern girl, I like my okra. So I always had to have some okra planted. Um, they're doing well. This is jambalaya okra. Pretty excited about those. Um, they're doing really good. I'm glad I gave them the space they needed. And I did plant some more because I want to have them um, make sure that I have some rotation in my crop so I can keep getting um, okra. And then I testing because I like to test in my garden. I like a big taste of change. Never grown um, sweet potatoes and I did grow um, some slips this year um, off of store-bought sweet potatoes which is amazing. And then this I can't decide if it's cauliflower or it's broccoli but either way it needs to go out. <laughs> Having a rough time. 
in this bed, I have, if you notice, I've got peppers, several different types. I've got jalapeno, habanero, and some sweet peppers. And then I also have some tomatoes. Now what's funny about this is I know they're a little too close together. They're gonna have some trouble, but they were having a little bit of trouble and all of a sudden they took off. And the, this group right here is really funny because I had them in one of those little bitty, ink, not incubators, but uh, like a little greenhouse um, and it tumped over and all the seeds went everywhere. And you know what tomato seeds are like. And I just like, you know what, if it grows, it grows. And I got quite a few, probably have to trim them up, but you know, I might get the best tomatoes I ever had. I also have basil to help with our tomato and pepper plants and they're starting to come up with that. Basil's doing really good. All right, then right here is my strawberry patch. And look at this, is this not beautiful? I just, oh my goodness, I just love them. Okay, so my strawberries, um, being the newbie I was, I just learned, well, didn't just learn, but I learned like last year that strawberries are perennials. Um, so I love strawberries, I wanted to try them. So we have these four, I'm hoping next year I'll add four more that way. I know in three or four years, the strawberries, they're not gonna, they're gonna, you know, use up their lifespan. So we'll have to plant in some new ones. Then over here is the absolute beautiful, beautiful tomato bed that Johnny built for me. Um, when we built that, this, um, I already had the tomatoes in their pots and I didn't want to transplant them because I thought it would be fairly, um, stressful to the tomato plants. So I thought I'll leave them in the pot, see how they do this year, and then use the trellis to help them, support them. Um, here's some more marigolds. This one right here is a Cherokee purple. So are these, but this Cherokee purple I got from Altruistic um, Garden. I'm a little worried because I've got some of this black um, stuff on it. I don't know if that's blight, but we'll see. This is Aroma. Did um, Better Boy, and I got these from big box stores. Um, this, honestly, I, I lost, I have lost what it is, and I don't know. And so this one, that's the thing is, you uh, need to be sure and label your containers. Um, this is a Black Beauty that I got from Altruistic Farms and got some babies going. Um, there is a little bit of blight on that, so I, I'm doing something wrong. I don't know if it's missing something or, what's going on. I do know they seem to have gotten a little bit better since I put some mulch on top. So I'm hoping that helps. And then this is the extension we've made um, from the tomato box on. I mean, besides the infrastructure Johnny built of adding the six, the six, one, two, three, four, four beds this year, um, we decided to bring it out because we are building a fence that goes around. So you'll notice the four posts and there's a video earlier where Johnny has um, put in those posts. We're going to, uh, over time, we'll build the fence. That will help us keep our little beauty girls over there, our chickens out of the garden, so I don't have to take a broom after them all the time. And then um, also keep the deer out. So this is the start of a test of a no dig bed. Um, I do have my walkways. I just put the soil in here. I did throw a couple of pumpkin seeds in there, but I know they're probably not gonna germinate. They haven't yet. Um, but they do, that's fine. Um, I'll be adding more and more layers of soil to this. I've got this black cow uh, manure that I like. It's a 555. Um, I'll put some of the, you know, I wouldn't call it crap soil, but I'll put some soil there. Um, make sure the boxes are wet. Um, the cardboard, the worms are gonna love that. I know I pulled up some cardboard and the worms are just all over them on back side. So I'll finish this out. So this year, we're not gonna expect to see anything here. This year was just kind of a test of this area. I've got um, a pumpkin that's trying to grow here. This is a watermelon we bought when we were out running around. We picked up um, some pepper plants in this watermelon. I know it's gonna be a late season. I don't know if it's gonna, I mean, it seems to be doing good right now, but I don't know if I'm gonna hit a point where it's not gonna grow. We may have a watermelon in October, but who knows. And then I've got another pumpkin seed here. And dang, look at this big old worm. That's dead. Well, he needs to go in the compost. All right, and then squash. Um, I have some squash out here. I did direct sow into our ground. You can tell our ground is pretty, you know, it's, it, we grow rocks. If you haven't noticed, we grow rocks. But that's okay, we're just trying to see what we can do. And there's always these little bugs. I'm always having to see, look at that. 
So I have been at war with squash bugs and I think I've got them pulverized, but it's a daily battle to check, look for eggs. Um, again, um, I probably will not plant summer squash um, this early in the season because it's just a constant battle. Uh, okay, we have a couple of those plants and then here is the end of the garden, which is the corn. This is the first year we planted corn on purpose, or growing corn on purpose. Um, it is from Haas Tools and it is a cream, it is a cream, I forgot it's called cream, it's called, what's it called? It's a sweet corn called cream and peaches as I, I believe this is called. So it's got the white and the yellow corn on it. Looks really, really nice or it looks really, really pretty. But it's done pretty good. I probably should have lesson learned, thinned this out a little bit more. Um, it, it, it's taken off pretty good. I did try to do the Three Sisters um, growing, which is the green beans back there and some squash, but I think the corn was a little too big when I did uh, attempt to plant those. Um, the green beans aren't getting the light they need, and then also, um, the squash probably are getting attacked by squash bugs. So I don't see too many of those. And then I, I do need to work on my weeding. It's every day, you know, part of it, you gotta weed. Um, on and back around here is what I'm real excited about. So this is the only, uh, probably 50 sunflower seeds I planted is a sunflower mammoth or mammoth sunflower. And, um, if you'll look over here, the deer that I love just keep munching on it. And there were some others that went down here. My, my goal was to have mammoth sunflowers, almost like a, a wall all the way around here. I won't do that again, plant sunflower seeds because our deer love them so much um, that until we have the fence up and hopefully that'll keep them out. So we got to push Johnny to get my fence done. All right, so that is this side of the garden. And up here, if you go back up here, I do have some pots that we planted that have peppers in them. Uh, definitely different ones. This is a habanero. I believe that's a habanero and they, that one is a sweet, pepper, I think. And then this is a jalapeno pepper plant. So I like to make cowboy candy. Um, Johnny just likes peppers. Um, grandkids love peppers. So hopefully we'll have plenty to share. One more here. So anyway, that is our garden tour at Gillum Farms. Um, if you see anything, want to comment, and want to teach me anything, tell me what I'm doing right, what I'm not doing wrong, but be kind because I do have fillers and, uh, but I do appreciate to learn from everybody. Uh, it's, it's very, it's a blessing to be able to do this. I appreciate Johnny doing the expansion and most of all, I thank God for giving this beautiful land and the seeds that we have. So if you like this type of content and want to see more about gardening or you just like go back and look at other videos, don't forget there's a video for the tomato box and there's also videos for these grow beds. So if you like that type of content, be sure to subscribe and do us a favor, hit the like button and also add a comment because it's really, it helps us grow our channel. And again, I just want to say thank you for your time. Appreciate you and God bless.